examining just why a whole foods plant-based diet acts like a cheat code for fat loss by making healthy versions of popular junk food products. When we talk about fat loss, most people will tell you that it's all about portion control, but I'm here to tell you that that is complete bullshit. Limiting the volume of food you eat and relying on willpower just doesn't work long term. That's why everyone is constantly falling off their diets and having to start again. As whole plant foods contain lots of water and fiber, you get to eat a massive volume filling you up. You need never feel hungry again. I've tried every diet going in my 30 plus years of working out and hand on heart, this is by far the best, which is why I've stuck at it for a decade and will never change. Without further ado, here are some of the swaps that you need to make for effortless fat loss. This unhealthy burger has a white bun, lettuce, two Beyond patties, BioLife cheese, onion, gherkins, tomatoes and ketchup. Whereas this healthy burger includes a wholemeal roll, lettuce, homemade walnut, mushroom and black bean burgers, homemade cheese sauce, onion, gherkins and tomato. There's even enough calories left to add a large salad and 500 grams of oil-free chips. The unhealthy salt laden burger has nutrient devoid white bread and lots of coconut oil coming from the patties and cheese which drives chronic diseases and won't fill you up. The healthy burger is on a wholemeal base. Being made from whole foods, it's extremely dense in vitamins, minerals, polyphenols, antioxidants and fiber, along with a good balance of omegas 3 and 6 coming from the walnuts. We made a chocolate sauce by blending 55 ml of water, 40 grams of dates and 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder. Next, we made the nice cream by blending 2.5 frozen bananas and 200 grams of frozen berries, along with 50 ml of soya milk. We added the chocolate sauce on top, along with three crushed walnuts. Although they look a fairly similar volume, the healthy version weighs over three times more, meaning it will keep you full for longer. The unhealthy version has over four times as much fat, much of which is coconut oil, and the second ingredient is refined sugar. Sugar, along with salt, are the top dietary risk factors for developing Alzheimer's disease, the biggest cause of death in the UK. The sugars in the whole fruit version are bound to fiber and come with polyphenols which slow the elevation of blood sugar, making it healthy. The sauce is wonderfully chocolatey and has polyphenols with none of the negatives of chocolate bars. The kind of flavor you could die for sans the death, both animal and human. Jimgo is a scoop of Viva Life performed blueberry and acai protein powder goes an absolute bomb in this. This healthy pizza base is made with 240 grams mashed potatoes and 60 grams cassava flour. I added 50 grams passata, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, red and orange peppers, sweet corn, broccoli and red onion. How appetizing does this look? And remember, the colors are the antioxidants. For the same amount of calories, you only get three eighths of the unhealthy pizza. Which one of these do you think will keep you fuller for longer? The protein of both pizzas is relatively low. If you're a gym goer, I would recommend adding seitan pepperoni. Again, this unhealthy pizza is full of coconut oil, salt and refined white flour with virtually no redeeming qualities. The healthy version has the same 472 calories and in my view tastes a whole lot better. If you disagree, then it's because you've temporarily ruined your taste buds by eating junk foods. This can easily be reversed by committing to eating whole foods for just three weeks. One other reason that a whole foods plant-based diet works so well for fat loss is that with junk foods, there's tons of added salt, oil and sugar, which makes us crave more. It acts like a drug addiction. There's a reason that once you pop, you can't stop. Eat the rainbow, yes, but whole fruits, not sugary candy. By no longer overstimulating your taste buds with hyper palatable junk, you will soon enjoy the healthy foods just as much. And you'll be well on your way to becoming as lean, happy and healthy as you deserve for leaving animals off your plate. See you in the next video.